Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Arcane Odyssey video. In this video, I'll be showing you guys where to get some OP armor and an insane weapon. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, just like to subscribe. My current goal is 2,000 subs. We're really close. I think we're at 1,750. So I thank you guys for all the subs. Enjoy my Discord down below. We are at 150 members now, so I will be hosting the first giveaway probably today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, just like to subscribe and let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing to actually obtain this armor and the weapon is you're going to have to go to the forest. Um, it's right by Silverhold, kind of, in this general area. Um, if you don't have it unlocked or you haven't been here, obviously there's going to be a cloud around it. But yeah, it's right by Silverhold in this general direction. It's in the southwest of Silverhold. Uh, so once when you're here, you're just going to want to follow me. You pretty much go right over here um, to this little camp site thing. And then once when you're up there, you will actually just run past all the mobs or defeat them. There's a mission right there where my cursor is. Um, but yeah, once when you're actually here, you'll just run past all these mobs. Uh, you can fight them if you want to, but it's just kind of a waste of time. They don't drop anything. Or actually, they do drop the weapon, I believe. But yeah, once when you're here, you fight this boss. I'll just do it real quick. I have to get these mobs off me. But yeah, then he did half HP and then he does uh kind of psycho mode, which still isn't that hard to beat. As you guys can see it, he's pretty much already dead in like a few seconds. Yeah, there he is, he's dead. Um no drop. But now I'll actually be telling you guys what you can get from the boss and what you guys can get from the minions. Alright, so as you guys can see, the minions are holding the staff, which is actually a pretty good staff, probably the best staff in the game. It does 15 base and one damage. And yeah, here are the moves. I showed it in my underrated uh weapons video yesterday. But yeah, it's just like any other staff, it has an M1 move as the Q move, and then it has uh, Piercing Gale as the other one, which Piercing Gale is this. So you just hold it down, you can aim it wherever, boom, shoot it. It's pretty good. Um, and then the other one, like I said, is just an M1 combo. And then yeah, this is what the normal M1 combo looks like, so you just dash towards them, and it does a normal M1 combo. And then right when you're done with that, they'll drop to the ground, and you can kind of just do that. And yeah, that's pretty much an instant death. Um, how you get this is from these NPCs that are currently on me. You just kill them over and over again, and eventually they will drop the weapon. Um, in my opinion, I think it's the best staff, even better than the iron staff, which people were saying the best one is. Um, the main reason why they were saying the best that's the best one is because nobody really knew that this uh, staff was actually in the game until recently. Um, but yeah, that's one drop that you can get from the normal NPCs. You can also get their hood, which I'll show you right now. So yeah, as you guys saw, I did get dropped a hood, which is this hood right here. It gives power and intensity. Uh, this isn't the main good armor that they drop. Actually, the main good armor is from the boss, which is um, the Cerex armor. So as you guys can see, it just attack speed and defense, which is really good. I'm currently only using the bottoms. If I get the boots, then I'll automatically put those on as well. Um, but yeah, it drops pretty much everything. It drops the bottoms. It drops a necklace. It drops armor. Uh, I don't think that helmet. And then it drops leggings. And then the only thing that I have for the actual armor is going to be the sleeveless robe, which as you lesson see, which as you lesson see with hard on it, it gives me 300 defense and 32 attack speed, which is really, really good. Um, but yeah, pretty much the armor, it all just has defense and attack speed. So I highly recommend going for it if you're going for like a speed based build. And then the weapon is also really, really good. Um, but yeah, I just want to make this video real quick because not many people knew about it. But yeah, it is on the forest island, uh, southwest of Silverhold. So just go here. It'll be right past that little bandit camp. You just go up above. And then, yeah, that's how you get the cultist staff and also some pretty good armor. Um, I will have another video out today because this was a bit of a shorter one. Um, but, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, just like, subscribe. My current goal is 2,000 subs. And join my Discord down below because I'll be doing giveaways. And I'll probably live stream uh, fairly soon. Maybe, like, two days from now, I'll start live streaming. It really just depends as the game is starting to, like, die off a bit. Um, but, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, just like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.